What's up everyone, I'm Callum on Toast and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing some of my battles from the Holiday Cup. I was a few days late starting this league rotation because I was still taking a bit of a break. When the Ultra League and the Ultra League Remix dropped, I decided to invest quite a lot of dust into some very glassy Pokemon, including a Shadow Weavile. And because of the lag, it was super punishing to use such frail Pokemon. Having Weavile lag a turn or two against a counter user was basically GG's. It was so frustrating and I just needed to take a break from GBL. I've taken my break, I've come back, the game is still rubbish, but I'm at least not getting as tilted when the game does break, so that is something. And I definitely advise if you are ever feeling like so frustrated with the game, just take a bit of a break. Um, you will feel refreshed when you come back, and even though the problems probably won't be fixed when you come back, you just will feel slightly better about it, so I definitely advise that. And uh, yeah, into the team composition, I'm running Shadow of Bomber Snow, Shadow Ho and Chandelure. So a pretty familiar team composition for my channel with the Grass and Double Fire in the back. This time we're running a Bomber Snow because Altaria is a massive threat in the meta. So we need that ice coverage to just completely destroy it. And what you will notice is that this team is triple weak to rock. So if you see any rock throw users, then you're gonna be in for a rough time, especially if it's a Shadow Aerodactyl. I would definitely advise if you do see an Aerodactyl to probably just quit because there's no chance you're gonna win that. Uh, I'm gonna show you what happened when I came up against the Shadow Aerodactyl. Luckily, I've only seen two of them the whole time that I've been doing battles in the Holiday Cup, but here, they bring in the Aerodactyl, we're going to get off one weather ball, it's obvious that they're going to shield and they're going to be able to farm me down before I get to the second weather ball and at this point it's game over, I can't do anything, Incinerate is resisted, it does a pretty big chunk to the Aerodactyl but I'm not going to be able to take it down, luckily they don't get the boost but we don't even get the second Incinerate through there and now we're going to, well we should have been taken out there but they must have lagged a turn but yeah like there's nothing you can do. On the plus side if you do come up against an Aerodactyl you're going to lose very quickly but I would probably just recommend that you exit out of the battle. I know I'm not the first person to be running Shadow ho -Oh or showcasing Shadow ho -Oh in the Holiday Cup but it's sort of my thing to run double incinerate users and also I'm not running Talonflame because I just prefer using Chandler. I know Talonflame is obviously the meta incinerate user, but I like to go for slightly spicier picks, and so that's why I'm running Chandler. And the team composition is pretty similar to what other people are doing. You have a Pokemon that's going to be burning their opponent's shields, and that's the Chandler here. And also the uh, Abomber Snow is very spammy with the Powder Snow Weather Ball, so that should be burning shields quite fast as well and that just means that Shadow ho -Oh can sweep with a shield advantage against pretty much everything in the meta apart from Shadow Aerodactyl. With that being said let's just get into the battles right now. So we're entering the first battle here we lead into an Obstacoon so this is not a good lead we're going to switch into the Chandelure they switch straight away into a Pidgeot we're going to go for the Flame Charge straight away unfortunately they get a gust through that's poorly timed on my part but it's very difficult to time the five turn moves against four turn moves. We do just barely get to a second flame charge and we get both shields, so we're in a really good position here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come in with the Obama Snow and we're not gonna shield this. If they Brave Bird us, then that means we can come in with Ho-Oh and farm down. They just go for the Feather Dance. We're gonna get a few Powder Snows in and we're just forcing them to throw their energy here and that's perfect. Now we're gonna come in with the Shadow Ho-Oh. We up two shields and they bring in a Frostlass, so that's going to be really good for us. We're going to go for the Brave Bird here. This is going to boom the Frostlass. Boom, we take out the Frostlass and we're going to get to the Brave Bird here. We're going to shield this and then this should be GG's for my opponent here. We actually farm one over just in case the Brave Bird doesn't KO uh, because we don't want to lower our attack uh, defense any further. And boom, we take out the Obstagoon and that's going to be a GG's there. So into the next game, we lead into a Victory Bell, they switch into a Shadow Lapras, so we're just going to stay in here. Because this is our best matchup against the Lapras. We get a shield, and they have farmed up quite a lot of energy, but I'm just going to let this go through. It's just a Surf, so I 
made the right decision. Unfortunately, they get to a second surf before we can get off our move. We're going to go for the energy ball here, hoping to take out this Lapras. And boom, we take out the Lapras there. They come in with the Victory Bell. We're going to switch into the Chandelure. They have an Obstagoon here. So we're going to go for the Flame Charge. They don't shield, that does quite a lot of damage, and we're happy to let the Chandelure go down. We know that the Ho-Oh can pretty comfortably sweep here. They will get to another Night Slash, but that's okay. We're going to shield this. The Victory Bell won't be able to get to a Sludge Bomb if they're running Sludge Bomb, and we're going to be able to take this game quite comfortably with the Ho-Oh. Uh, it's just a Leaf Tornado, so that does absolutely nothing, and we're able to take out the Victory Bell and win that game. We lead into a Ninetales here, so we're gonna switch straight away into the Chandelure. They switch into a Vigoroth, so that is not a Chandelure counter. So we're gonna go for the Flame Charge. We get a shield here. We are gonna let this go through. It was too soon to be a Bulldoze, so we're in a good position. This is obviously still too soon, but the Body Slam will put us low. We're gonna at least get to the flame charge and burn their last shield and that's what we do and now here we're happy to let the uh, body slam go through that's fine we're going to come in with the shadow ho and we're going to be able to destroy the rest of this team so they come in with a wiggly tough so they're actually running double charm but a b a and we're going to go for the earthquake here so that we don't debuff ourselves boom we take out the wiggly tough and this is going to be another boom here with the Brave Bird. Pretty comfortable win for us in the end. And boom, we take out the Alola Ninetales there and take that game. So GG's to my opponent there. Uh, Altaria lead here, so this is why I'm running a Bomber Snow. Uh, they switch into the Vigoroth straight away, so we switch into the Chandelure. We're going to go for the Flame Charge here. Uh, I think this might have been one of the earlier battles, so I wasn't sure how quickly... It gets to the bulldoze, but I think that might have been one turn early. This is obviously a body slam now. So what we're going to do is we're going to farm up to 100 energy before we throw the flame, the flame charge, as we don't really expect them to shield, but they do shield. So we're actually going to throw the second flame charge here, and this will either get the second shield or take them out. We do get the second shield, and we're pretty happy to let the chandelier go down. But they go for the body slam, and then they switch into the Altaria. So we're in a really good position now. We can come in with the Obama Snow, get to the Weather Ball, and this is gonna take out the Altaria. Boom, and they come in with the Marowak. We've got a shield advantage, so this is gonna be GG's. We're gonna shield this, whatever it is, even if it's a Bone Club, I don't care. I'm gonna go for the Earthquake straight away. The Rigoroth has pretty much no health left and no energy. Boom, we take out the Marowak, and one Incinerate takes out the Vigoroth. Into the next game, we lead into a Wigglytuff, so again, we're just going to switch into the Chandelure straight away. They're not switching out, so this makes me think that maybe they don't have an answer to fire. You see there, we thought we denied the charm, but like a, a whole second later, the charm goes through. So uh, that's just the thing, charm always sneaks through. Uh, we get both shields, so that's basically what we wanted. Now Shadow Ho is going to be able to absolutely tear through the team. If they didn't have an answer to Chandelure, they probably don't have an answer to the ho -Oh. We are going to shield this, and now we can commit to the farm down. We're going to come out with an Earthquake loaded. Uh, unfortunately, we tap, so we do let a Volt Switch go through, but we're going to get to the Earthquake here. And boom, we take out the Graveler. I don't know why they didn't come, on, come in with that in the first place, but... That's okay, I, I certainly don't mind. And boom, we take out the Vigoroth there. So, ho -Oh just absolutely destroying everything with a shield advantage. Uh, we lead into a Talon Flame, so we have to get out of there straight away. Unfortunately, we're one turn behind because we switched out. They go for the Flame Charge. They tried to catch the Shadow Ball, but luckily I was refunded there. So I didn't throw the Shadow Ball. And now I'm in a really good position here. This is just a body slam, so we're going to let this go through. We're going to go for the flame charge here. And we're actually going to undercharge this so that it doesn't KO. And now we can get two incinerates through and they won't be able to get to a move. And we perfectly farm them down, leaving almost no health for them to farm us down. We get to the shadow ball here. So we grab the final shield from the Talonflame and now we're going to switch into the ho -Oh. 
and they switch into a lantern we've got an energy advantage we're just going to go straight for the earthquake and you already know what's going to happen boom we take out the lantern and now they come back in with the talon flame we get an incinerate through so this is good they go for the flame charge bait and we have the brave bird loaded so we're going to throw that and we're able to take out the talon flame and win that game there so gg to my opponent there into the next game we lead into a marowak so again really bad this time we're actually switching into the ho -Oh because um i think a few games in a row where i switched into the chandelure i was met with an altaria every time and ho -Oh can get shields and boom we take out the lantern yeah ho -Oh can get a shield from the altaria and <laughs> my opponent actually just quits there i guess they either miscounted or i don't know what that was i don't know why they didn't shield but I don't mind. They switch into a Vigoroth straight away, so we're gonna switch into the Chandelure here. Go for the Flame Charge. Hopefully we get a shield. Uh, we don't actually, so that's that's okay. We're gonna shield this, and now we'll have an energy advantage going into the Lapras. Uh, we're gonna throw one Incinerate. Somehow they got three Ice Shards through, which is very annoying, but I don't know, it happens sometimes. We had quite a few games already this video where the game actually has worked the way it should do, so that's nice. <laughs> Doesn't always happen, and uh, here it didn't, but that's okay. I think this is just a surf, so we're going to let it go through. It is just a surf. We're going to go for the energy ball here. We get the final shield, and they don't commit to the farm down, so I'm happy to let the Obama Snow go down here. You know how it goes. What, save a shield for the ho -Oh, and it's going to be able to sweep. Uh, we're going to shield this. Obviously a Surf will do big damage. Probably barely just doesn't KO or maybe it does. They come in with a Venusaur. This is really good for us. We get to the Earthquake here. We're at 100 energy. We're just going to need one more Incinerate to throw and then we're going to get to the Brave Bird here and take out the Lapras. So obviously ho -Oh has a great matchup against Venusaur but they could have pretty much switched in anything there and it would have been the same result. Into the next game, we lead into a Lantern, so this is where we want to see it. Uh, we lagged a turn, but honestly it doesn't matter against Lantern. Um, it's such a one-sided matchup. We let the Thunderbolt go through. We're going to go for the Energy Ball. We're just hoping that they don't catch it onto something that resists Grass. They do Shield, which I was surprised about. I was thinking they're probably double weak to the Obama Snow. Uh, this was just four, so it's just a power whip. We can tank that. Uh, not that comfortable, but we can tank it. And then here, that was just three, so this is going to be a mirror shot, and that is also resisted. So we can tank that as well. And now we've got 100 energy. We're going to throw straight away a Shadow Ball, and they have an Altaria. So they were double weak to the Abomber Snow in the lead. That's why they didn't switch out straight away. But we can come back in with the Abomber Snow. We go for the Weather Ball here. We get a shield. And we get to the second weather ball before they can get to a charge move. We take out the Altaria and you might be thinking, well, why have you included this video? And I'm going to let the uh, Obama Snow go down and save my shields for the Shadow ho -Oh, And obviously it's going to be able to take out this Lantern here with an Earthquake. I was actually tempted to throw the Brave Bird here. But um, yeah, we're just going to go for the Earthquake just to be sure. And boom, we take out the Lantern there, and we take that game. Into the next game, we lead a Bomber Snow into Roserade. And I thought it might be Poison Jab, so I switched out straight away. That was kind of stupid, but that's okay. They come in with a Coffer Grigus. We're going to go for the Shadow Ball. I probably could have just gone for the Flame Charge, but I wouldn't make it to another one anyway, so it doesn't matter too much. We're going to come back in with the Bomber Snow here. Well, let's go through. It's just a Dark Pulse. They throw one more, so this could be a Shadow Ball. Either way, I'm going to shield this and farm up a little bit extra before I throw. I don't want to be too low because I don't know what they have in the back. So we take out the Cofagrigus. And they have a Talon Flame. So we're going to go for the Weather Ball here, and then we're going to switch into the ho -Oh. But I can't switch, and my Bomber Snow goes down, so that sucks. <laughs> Uh, I don't really know what happened there. Uh, we would have had to lag for two turns, I think. But, I don't know, this game is just rubbish sometimes. We're going to go for the Earthquake Bait. I think we're at 100 energy now, so we're going to be able to take out the Talonflame here. 
and we probably should have thrown there but fortunately we get an incinerate through here they don't switch out so now we're going to be able to throw the brave bird into the roserade and boom we take out the roserade and that's going to be a gg so that's going to be it for this video if you did enjoy it then make sure you leave a like leave a comment letting me know and i will be uploading the part two to this video probably sometime soon after Christmas. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when, but if you're not subscribed yet, then make sure you're subscribed so you'll be able to watch the part two to this video. Um, in this video, this was just a showcase of how busted Shadow Ho is as a closer. But in that video, I'm gonna be showing some more sort of comebacks from really tough lead losses and switch losses, and also some really close games that I wasn't able to come back from. But overall some just really amazing gameplay in that video and also one of the most bizarre games i've ever played so uh, definitely make sure you're subscribed so you can see that as soon as i upload it and uh, with that being said thanks for watching merry christmas to all of you or happy holidays depending on uh, what you celebrate and uh, yeah i will see you in that video soon